Hi, everybody. Welcome. I'm your host, Binary Mouse. And we have another truly fantastic story to share with you. Our special guest storyteller will carry us beyond the edge of our imagination into a digital fantasy land built especially for you. Watch, listen, and enjoy! Now, enjoy our story, Abandoning the Old One. Once in long ago Korea, it was the custom to leave the old on a mountain to die. When an elder's hair turned as white as onion roots, he or she was carried up the mountain and abandoned. No one knew when this custom began. No one liked it, but all obeyed. All except one young man. For as he carried his father up the mountain, his footsteps slowed. His heart grew weary, remembering the many years that his father had taught and loved him so. And as he was about to leave his father, he saw crows circling, waiting for a body. All of a sudden he decided, No, I won't let my father just die like this. No, I won't. So he hid on the mountain until it was dark then secretly brought his father back to their home. All night, he dug and dug, carving a small room out of the earth. There he hid his father and cared for him. Soon after that, a messenger from the Emperor of China appeared in the king's court. I have brought three riddles, he said. If you solve them all, we will leave you in peace. And then he held out a square made from wood saying, Tell me which side of the square comes from the higher part of the tree. The king gathered all of his advisers, who had not one white hair, one long beard, nor one wrinkle amongst them. They turned the wood this way and that, but all sides looked alike. They scratched their dark hair, rubbed their smooth cheeks, walked quickly back and forth, but nothing helped. So a proclamation was sent throughout the kingdom, offering a fine reward to anyone with the answer. That night, the son served his father rice, salted with tears. My boy, asked the father, why do you cry? I fear we may be conquered, sighed the man, and told his father the problem. But his father was not worried. Instead, he laughed. My son, you do need the old ones. The answer is easy. And he told him what to do. The next day, the man ran to the palace and called for a bowl of water. Then, in front of the king and the others, he took the wood and placed it in the bowl. Immediately, one side floated down, while the opposite side stayed up. Sir, said the young man, the part of the square which is higher in the water was also higher in the tree. The messenger bowed his head, accepting defeat. Everyone rejoiced until the messenger called for his two horses, which looked exactly alike. Now for the second riddle, he said. One of these horses is the mother, and one is her foal. Which is which? Again, the king gathered his advisers. But perhaps their hair was too dark, 
their skin too soft. For whatever reason, no answer was found. A proclamation went forth once more, yet no one came forward. That night, the father heard of the second riddle. Oh, my son, he said. You do need more white hairs in the kingdom. These are simple matters. And he told him what to do. The next day, the man ran with a wide grin to the court. Great king, he said. Starve the horses for three days and then put out a carrot. Thus, several days later, a carrot was placed some distance from the hungry horses, and they were set free. Like the wind, one horse raced to the carrot and gulped it down. The other stayed back, watching. You see, explained the man, the horse which ran to eat is the foal, while the mother waited to make sure her son was fed. The messenger again bowed his head, agreeing, but then spoke. There is yet still one challenge. Bring me a rope made of ashes. A rope of ashes? A rope of vines, a, a straw rope, even a rope of rags could perhaps be made. But one of ashes? How could that be? Great, great sorrow filled the kingdom, for no one knew what to do. But fortunately, the father again gave his help. At dawn in the palace, the son asked for a rope covered with oil. It was set aflame, and the fire neatly ate the rope, leaving only ashes behind. When the fire was finished, a rope of ash lay perfect upon the ground. You have proven yourselves wise indeed said the imperial messenger, and you will have the peace which you deserve. After he left, drums and dances filled the air. Well pleased, the king offered the young man great riches. I cannot accept, sir, said the man, for it was my father who knew the answers. Your old father? But he should have died on the mountain said the king. I, I could not leave him there, my king. I hid him instead, and thus he could help us, said the son, looking down. But now you must punish us both. Silence filled the room as everyone waited for the king to speak. At last he did. Your father's advice was wise. It saved the kingdom. He and the other elders know much, do they not, from their many years. We have been very foolish to send them away. And so from that day, the custom was stopped. Never again was an elder abandoned or taken away. Instead, they were given the respect and honor which they well deserved. And in return, they freely shared their wisdom with everyone in the land.